fear is one of the most powerful human emotions and it makes a lot of sense for people to be fearful based on what's going on. However, anxiety is a fear of the unknown. It is a response for human beings to uncertainty of the situation. And the uncertainty is, am I going to get sick? Are my loved ones going to get sick? If I got sick, how bad it will be? All those kinds of things. So what we will do today is to go through a series of steps which will help people minimize a sense of overwhelming anxiety to make it manageable. Two major principles that can help everyone cut down on a very strong sense of fear and anxiety. Number one is you need to cut down, minimize on all the fear-mongering news by the media. Find a channel or a website which you think is authentic, whether it's CDC or WHO or similar, and twice a day get updates. Number two, you need to take charge and as part of that, create a routine, create a schedule, as well as plan for future. If you can do these two things, you are well on your way to managing your anxiety, which otherwise might be overwhelming to bring it to a manageable level. Getting to a routine. Let's set it up. Start from the morning. The moment you wake up, just like you were when you were going full time to work, most of the people are working from home now. Morning routines, if you do exercise in the morning, absolutely get involved the same way. Morning walks the same way, exercise getting home the same way. Exercise is very important to set the routine straight. It's not only helpful for multiple aspects of health and improving human body, but it also takes away the edge of anxiety. Then having a good healthy breakfast. The important thing on that one is to keep your meals balanced. Cut down on carbs, which can give rise to this changing of emotions because of fluctuating levels of blood glucose. Then during the day, you need to set up your schedule. If you're gonna have conference calls with colleagues at work, if you are going to be working on a particular project with peers, all of that you need to set up beforehand, before you get going during the day. And set up strategic breaks, social breaks during the day. Social breaks could be five, 10, 15 minutes, it doesn't matter, it's, it depends on your schedule. To connect with friends, family, loved ones, peers, to talk about something but work. Something to bring normalcy to your life. And as you get to the end of the day, absolutely essential that you set up your hour of sleep again on a fixed time and prepare for it in a very systematic fashion. So how would that be? In general, very important to cut down on your screen time in the evening and particularly stop doing it for at least an hour before you go to sleep. Keep your bedroom as cool as you can tolerate. Keep it very dark. No screen time for at least an hour before that. Dinner, preferably three hours before you go to sleep. You will find that you are going to sleep much better. Related to that is when in the morning you wake up and you do your exercise, and you get out to have some sun, it's not a bad idea to have a 20, 30 minute walk because what it does is it regularizes your cycle of melatonin. So that evening, later in the evening, you sleep at least two, three times a day. Set up routines for prayers, for relaxation, for yoga, for meditation, for breathing exercises, for stretching exercises, something which breaks the monotony and also brings your body in a much more relaxed state. In terms of setting up routines, you need to start planning for what life would be like after the pandemic is over. It's again 
along the same principle that I mentioned earlier, you have to take charge. You cannot be helpless victim. Being a passive and letting their environment and the circumstances control you is the worst thing you can do for your anxiety. So you need to start planning right now. How are you going to build resilience? You will come out of it stronger, but you need to work on it very systematically. You also need to, during this time, come up with a plan to enhance yourself. So after the corona, you are a better self for yourself. You need to learn new skills, online courses, taking courses in painting, cooking, something along those lines. There is a whole lot available online these days that you can take advantage of. In Qatar, we have many, many opportunities here. Virtual tours of zoos, you know, looking at the mountains and the beaches, visiting places which you have not visited in reality, but they are available virtually online. Uh, again, using technology to your advantage. Very important. The main concept is to control your environment, set up a schedule that you can control, and don't be a passive victim. Mm -hmm.